Hello, we're going to talk about this subject called ketosis. What is it? Ketosis is a state of fat burning. So when you're in ketosis, you're making something called ketones. What are ketones? Ketones are those things that, um, it's a type of fuel for the body that's alternative fuel than actual sugar or glucose. So ketones would be like riding a, uh, a car using electricity versus diesel fuel, with this, which is more sugar. So it's a cleaner fuel source. It's an alternative fuel source that will give a person way more energy than glucose. So even professional athletes can far outrun and perform um, on ketosis than the carbo loading. Okay? Now, how, what's the premise of ketosis? The premise of ketosis is lowering your insulin or your sugars, which is refined carbohydrates, way, way, way down there to close to zero like 5% of your daily calories. And let me explain what insulin is though. Insulin is the hormone that regulates sugar. Normally in your blood, you only store in your entire body two little teaspoons of sugar. That's all you store. That's all you have in your blood. So your, our bodies were not designed to consume the amount of sweet or sugar that we, con that we consume. I mean, average person is 145 pounds of sugar a year. So that's just insane. So anything more than two teaspoons is going to be very toxic to the body. So on an average person, they're consuming so much carbohydrate. Well, the body will just jack up insulin. It's like a whiplash response. And then get it out of the blood fast and stick it into the liver and start building up fat around the liver. That's what it does. So all these people with a fatty liver, with uh, high cholesterol, high blood fats, that is the sugar in their diet. It's not coming from the fat in the diet. Our bodies make a lot of cholesterol, 2,000 milligrams a day. So um, it's not that. Um, in fact, here's some interesting things. The good benefits of being in ketosis, which by the way is lowering your carbs, increasing your dietary fats, and having a moderate amount of protein is it will lower your, your bad cholesterol. It increases your good cholesterol. It lowers your triglycerides. It improves blood sugars. Impl improves in, um, insulin um, resistance. Now, there are studies that will tell you that it worsens. If you eat fat, it will worsen diabetes or insulin resistance. And that has to do uh, with the type of study that they did. They did it on rats and they used corn oil. They didn't use healthy fats. Corn oil is not only genetically modified, but it, it's not a healthy fat. So I'm not surprised that that made things worse. So you really want to, when you see these studies that say that, you know, something's bad, actually read what they're using as their fats or their foods, and you'll find that, you know, even though they just study on vitamins and they use synthetic vitamins versus natural. So I always kind of um, are suspect unless I read the study myself. Um, improve memory, improve dementia good blood sugar levels, reducing acne, reducing cancer risk. Why? Because sugar feeds cancer. In fact, there's even um, certain types of um, scans that they do to detect cancer, and they look for areas of your body that you're consuming, consuming excess sugar because cancer is very hungry for sugar. So why not just cut the sugar out um, and decrease the risk? Decrease polycystic ovarian syndrome. So what is that? That's uh, a, a condition where a female has a lot of these little um, follicles that are growing on the ovaries and is pumping out too much of the wrong hormone, the male hormone, and they're getting acne, loss of hair, uh, a lot of issues. But that will do, reduce if you're on this eating plan. Uh, it decreases inflammation. I mean, how many people have inflammation? So sugar will promote inflammation. Also digestive bloating. This is very good for digestion. Um, now. The healthy fats that you need to be on are basically grass-fed um, animal products like beef or something like that. Do not consume the lean beefs or the turkey bacon or the chicken without the skin. Why? Because we need those healthy fats. Uh, do not eat eggs without the yolks. We need that fat to be able to uh, get you in ketosis. Now, but I know the concern. The concern is, oh my gosh, I don't want to clog my arteries. We've been literally brainwashed uh, to think that it's bad for your arteries. So all I'm going to tell you 
is try it for a couple weeks, go get your blood tests, and you will see that it will go down. And you'll be, um, I mean, your back cholesterol will go down, your heart will be clean, and you'll, you'll have to prove it to yourself. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna list the studies underneath this video, but I want you personally to experience the benefits of this because long term for health, um, this running at your body on sugar, you're not going to last. And if you combine sugar with protein, you create even worse problems with insulin. And um, that's why when I have people that say, well, I'm eating mostly healthy, everything in moderation, but they have just enough sugar in there to cause bumped them out of ketosis. So all that saturated fat will plug up their arteries because they have just enough to nullify the benefits, okay? So um, we have a lot of benefits. We don't want to combine carbohydrates with too much protein, um, but I created a link below that uh, list, the eating uh, plan that I would recommend, types of foods that you should be on to be able to get yourself into ketosis. You'll be hearing a lot more of this uh, in the upcoming um, news um, by athletes, by researchers, because it is true and it creates a lot of benefits. Uh, there's a couple little twists to it. For example, if you've been running your body on sugar for so long, it takes a little bit to trans, uh, adapt your body to this new fuel source. And in that transition, you might have to um, take it gradual because you're not used to it. So some people, because sugar really uh, holds so much fluid, you might drop a lot of water weight initially and you also might lose a little too much sodium. So you might need to consume more salt on this diet to be able to keep the blood, um, the blood pressure up because it lowers blood pressure. And then uh, you'll feel better. But when you start dumping all this fat and all this water off your body, and you might feel a little lightheaded, you just might need a little bit more salt. So I suggest you push through it. It's only a transition phase, but running your body on ketones, it's much healthier long term. So apply what I just told you and uh, make some comments underneath this video.